It's Booty Quick here from Roller Derby Athletics, and today I'm gonna try making tuna burgers. <laughs> Guys, today we are here in the Roller Derby Athletics test kitchen. Ta da! Otherwise known as my apartment. And I'm going to make a recipe that has been provided by Lilith No Fair for tuna burgers. Quick aside. Lilith is providing some awesome nutrition advice for anyone who is an all-star subscriber on RollerDerbyAthletics.com. So if you're not that, then find the link below here and check it out. And if you are, then there's a whole printed recipe and a whole article and tons more information to go along with this and some more recipes. So go to RollerDerbyAthletics.com to this post and find those links. So why are we making tuna burgers today? because tuna burgers, and this recipe in particular, have lots of protein and lots of good fats. And those are two things that you need when you are a roller derby athlete and you are kicking your own ass out there on the track and cross training and doing all this crazy stuff. So this is fuel for your life. So we are gonna make these turkey tuna burgers, not turkey burgers, and I'm not the best cook in the world, so we'll see how I do. So before we get too far, let's just go over our ingredients list. We have two cloves of garlic and four scallions, two omega-3 eggs, some soy sauce, three cans of tuna, flax meal, extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper, and that's all. This recipe sounds pretty simple. Basically you just combine all of these ingredients into a bowl and then you make them into patties and then you fry them in some olive oil. So that doesn't sound so bad. I'm gonna give it a whirl. Boom, garlic. Scallions, scallions on my floor. Okay, in you go. Quarter cup of flax meal. What's the deal with flax meal? You can buy flax seeds or you can buy ground flax flax meal, ground flax, same thing. And I buy the seeds because it's a little bit cheaper and I grind them in a little handheld coffee grinder and I also use this in my smoothies for extra fiber, yeah. Now, No Fair's recipe said to beat the eggs, but it seems like a lot of effort to get out the egg beaters and plug it all in, so I'm just gonna whisk. In you go. Teaspoon of soy sauce, salt and pepper, I like lots of pepper, and finally of course the tuna. So I'm trying to drain the tuna really well because I feel like if there's too much moisture in it, it's just, doesn't seem like it's going to work right. So drain your tuna well. In Joe's. Okay, now I'm gonna mix this guy up with this fork, whoops, without getting too much tuna on the floor. Mmm, it's gonna be so good, I'm so excited. In hindsight, I probably could have mixed the other ingredients in better with one another first before I put the tuna in, because it would have made it easier to mix this up. But just make sure you mix it up really well so everything is evenly distributed throughout your burgers. Okay, yeah, time to get your hands in it. I'm gonna see what my burgers look like. Yeah, look at that. There we go, that's what these bad boys look like, ready for the pan. And I'm just heating up some oil over here in my pan and we're gonna throw those bad boys in there. Yum, yum. Here you go, little guy. While the burgers are cooking, it is totally acceptable to dance. That was about three minutes on the first side and they are beautiful and brown. Okay, I think 
think we're ready. It's been about not quite six minutes. And that bad boy is brown on both sides. Oh, look at that. I did it. Heat off. You're good. You're good. And Lilith said to serve it on a bed of lettuce. I have spinach instead. I hope that's going to be okay. And look how cute it looks. And it smells really good too. Mm, I can't wait to try it. Okay, here we go. This is the verdict. Uh, tuna burger, sans bun, naked, bit of spinach. Oh, there we go. Mmm. Yeah. It tastes fancy. And it really wasn't very hard at all. Like, it tastes way better than a can of tuna. And it was only like two minutes harder than opening a can of tuna. So that's pretty awesome. I say verdict, big winner. You've got to try this. Guys, that's it for today in the Roller Derby Athletics Test Kitchen here. Uh, I hope that you dig this recipe and you give it a try. If you have an idea for how to make this better, uh, please go ahead and post it in the comments at rollerderbyathletics.com. I'd just love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. I'm Booty Quake. This is Roller Derby Athletics Derby in the Kitchen. See you next time. I'm Booty Quake. I just cooked your ass. And you, no, that's weird.